Hi friends, I'm Lisa with Made to Create with Lisa and today we are going to make a couple of ornaments using little sleds that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I came up with a couple different styles and we will make a little bit of each without probably completely finishing either. <laughs> This past week has been insane and I'm still flying by the seat of my pants, which I am not good at. And um, I'm not good at that at all. I'm one of those that has to have everything lined up in advance. So, but I didn't wanna miss an opportunity to um, craft with you guys today. So here I am with what I have. Um, we are going to use these little sleds that I found at the Dollar Tree. And um, they actually had a couple different styles. They had this one that had the, the slats in it. And then they also had one that was completely flat. And so I thought that we would do one of each. Um, I bought three of them. So this is the, the only one I have left now. Hey, Karen, how are you? Um, so anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna play with this and see what we can do and hopefully it will be cute and turn out. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna point you down. And my computer, my iPad, of course, would not hook up today. So I don't think that I'm going to be able to see your comments very well. Okay. So like I said, we are going to use this. Um, yes, I did make it, Carol, <laughs> barely. Um, so we're gonna use this sled from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is using this style. Okay, so what I did is I painted it before I came live. And actually, because of all the nooks and crannies, you know, all over, uh, front and back. It kind of took me a little while, so I was very glad I did that in advance. Um, but anyway, so I chose to do it uh, with red and then black on the sled part, okay? So what I'm going to do first is take this off. I wanted to leave it on so you could see how it came, but um, we'll put a different, a different hanger on there. So I'm snipping that off. Okay, and now we have this. So I did the whole entire thing since it will be hanging on the tree and I feel like, you know, how ornaments kind of spin around and I thought you might end up seeing the back and I didn't want that. Okay, so what we are going to do today is let me get some scratch paper out and we are going to use our white um, embossing powder. And um, I'm trying to find my stamps here. <laughs> Where did I put them? See, I told you this might be kind of rocky today. Well, let me show you this. Okay, so this is on page 128 of our annual catalog. And these are the embossing powders that we have. So this is the metallic um, selection. It comes like as a pack. And then there's the basic pack, which has the black, clear, and the white. And then you need an, a heat gun and, um, and then a Versamark stamp pad, okay? So those are the things that we are going to use today. Um, like I said, that is on page 128. And I need to find my stamps. <laughs> I think that'll be the first time that I've gone live without having my stamps handy. Okay, so we're going to use this cute, cute um, Mary Snowflake stamp set, okay? And um, I'm just going to use actually just these two stamps right here. Now, whenever you emboss, see I haven't even mounted them all, and we're just using those. So whenever you emboss, you need to use a Versamark pad. The Versamark pad is not the same as the normal dye ink. It is um, 
a pigment ink and it stays juicy and wet for a long time. Um, and that's what you need in order to get the, um, the powder to stick to it. Okay, so mine has been well loved and it's kind of old and gross, but it works just the same. So all you do is ink it up and I wanna make sure that it is inked up really, really well. Now, I'm going to warn you, I have never, I don't think I have ever embossed on wood before. So we are going to give it a shot. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can see this because it's clear and that's fine. You will see it in a minute. Okay, now what we do is we open up our powder and we sprinkle it on. And you can be generous with how much you sprinkle because then this extra just goes back in the canister. Okay, and we just tap it off. Kind of hurts to flick on the wood, but that's what you need to do. Okay, I have a, when I, when I emboss, not everybody does this, but when I emboss, I have a little tiny itty bitty um, paintbrush handy. And what I use that for is to brush off any little spots that aren't where I want the powder to be. <sighs> There's a little tiny fuzz up here. I'm trying to get that off of there. I don't know if I can grab it without messing up the design. There we go. Okay, look at how well that turned out. It totally worked. Okay, now we're not done yet. We haven't even heated it up, but I'm gonna move this down a little bit. And we will use the other snowflake. So I'm going to take this one off. Oops, put the little one on. And I will ink this one up and just kind of put some random snowflakes on there. And as you can see, I like them kind of hanging off the side. You want it to look artsy. Okay, now let's see how this looks. Now, like I said, this stays wet for a long time, so that's why I was able to stamp several at a time and then put my powder on all at once. Check it out. It totally worked. What do you think? Okay, so I'm going to kind of brush off my little dots. Because this is on wood, it kind of catches in some of the grooves. So we'll get those extra, because if you leave those on there, those will emboss on there and then you can't get them off. <sighs> I think that's pretty good. I see a couple dots there. But other than that, I think that looks good. I'm looking here. Okay, check it out. I love it. All right. Hey, Marty, thank you. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is pour this back into my container. And you know what, seriously, my embossing powder might not even look like the current one that we sell <laughs> because it literally lives on forever and ever and ever. And so I have several bottles of it and I don't ever know what's current because or what the current sticker looks like because it just keeps <laughs> lasting on and on. Okay, so we'll get that out of here. And now I am grabbing my heat gun. And hold on, I forgot to plug it in here. So how are you guys doing? I just got done with my annual Stampin' Up! convention and I got together with a huge group of girls and we had a blast watching convention together and um, seeing the new spring catalog that's gonna be coming out, which is kind of crazy to think of. Okay, are we ready? So what you do is you turn on the gun 
I'm letting it warm up here for a second. And then I'm gonna try to hold this up so that you can see. You can see it when it starts to change and it gets brighter. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it's turning brighter and it's melting. there. Can you tell a difference now that it's all embossed? Whoops. Hi, Kim from the UK. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Okay, now look, I'm going to try to turn this to the side here a little bit. Maybe it's zoomed in too far. Can you tell that there's some dimension to it when it's embossed instead of just flat um, stamping? I think it looks even better than I imagined. I'm very excited. Okay, now Versamark ink, of course, just washes off in the regular stamp scrub, whatever you like to use, and I will do that later. Okay, so what I am going to do now is, <laughs> I really, really am not the person that you want last minute here. I cannot find anything that I prepared do on here. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> okay. I have the glittered organdy ribbon and I thought that that would be a cute hanger that we could stick in here. So I am going to try my best to get it through this hole. All right, there we go. And then what we'll do is we'll just tie a little knot and I can see that some of my paint is still wet because it just got on my fingers. I was painting like a mad lady um, in order to be able to do this. Okay, that knot just came right through so we'll have to do a double knot. That hole is too big. Let me get this going here. So anyway, we did convention, had a blast, did some crafting on the side after convention was over. We had a good time. Okay, let me trim this. And then, about how long do we want it? Maybe about that long. So let me go through here. Thank you, I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> White sleeve and red paint, I know. Hopefully, it, I think it's dry. I don't know, I was kind of, uh, kind of going crazy. So what happened is we had convention and that was, you know, three solid days and then went straight from that to the very next morning, got up yesterday morning and headed up to Seattle, which is a three hour drive to see my son up in college up there to celebrate his 21st birthday. So I was gone all day yesterday, got home very late last night, and now here I am today. So I have not had time to be in my stamp room and prepare like I should. Okay, isn't that cute? It just kind of adds with the sparkle. Okay, and then what we are going to do is I need to grab the snowflakes that I cut out. And like I said, I am totally embarrassed because I cannot find them. <laughs> so they're probably here in this mess and I am going to have to uh, show you later. Oh my word. 
This is when you just have to laugh at yourself, right? Okay, so I used our awesome sparkle paper, which I absolutely love. And I used our stitched snowflake dies, which I also love. And I cut out, as you see, I really did it. I cut out several of the snowflakes, okay? And my plan, let's just pretend that these are the sparkly white snowflakes. My plan is to make a tag and whoops, and have them hanging off of this to kind of tie together with kind of like a, you know, a Be Merry type sentiment. Um, so that's what I'm gonna have to do after I get off of here. But the main thing I wanted to do is show you the technique of heat embossing onto the wood. So I did accomplish that. <laughs> okay, so that was the first one. Okay. Um, see, these are the these are the die cuts that they kind of go with from the same same stamp set. Okay, so now, like I said, there were two different styles of sleds, and this is the one that was just the plain flat. Okay, and so what I did is I painted that in advance with just a brown paint. All right, and it's a slightly different style. So let me show you. Let me get this off of here. So this is the difference. See how they look a little bit different? Like this has the crossbar there and then this one looks different, okay? So it didn't matter that I got it all messy up there because we are going to put some designer series paper on there. So what I used for the designer series paper is the adorable paper that has the animals. And have you guys seen this paper yet? I don't know if you're a pet lover, but this is the paper that is so cute. So there's dogs, cats, this one. <laughs> okay, this mad cat here always cracks me up. So we have dogs, cats, there's a little corgi, there's a mouse, I think that's a hamster. Anyway, so it's just fun little um, you know, just cute little designs. And then the other, the other side are patterns. Okay. And this is in the holiday catalog and I've had this paper and I just haven't played with it yet. And so I thought that that would be fun to use today. So what I did is I took my sled and I put it upside down onto my paper and I traced onto it so that we would get the shape of the top here. And this is what I came up with. This is one of the designs in there. So that's on the other side of this. So you can see that I used a pencil and just cut out around it. And we're gonna adhere this onto the sled. Okay, so I'm pulling out my Mod Podge. I know you love the paper, Marty. You're already on your second pack almost. Okay, and here is my foam brush. And I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on here. You want it thick enough that the stuff will stick to it, that the paper will adhere, but not too thick because then it will start buckling everything. So I'm just going to spread that around, make sure that I have enough. All right. I think I have it everywhere. Okay, you always wanna make sure it goes all the way out to the edges, cause that's actually the worst if it doesn't go to the edge. Okay, and that's all we need this for. So we will put that aside. And like I always say, I put my brush into a, um, hey Brenda, I put my brush into a um, Ziploc bag just so that it doesn't dry out before I get to it. Okay, now what we will do is stick this on and I always, always, always turn it over and slide it around until I can see, whoops, I slid it a little too far, until I can see that the whole thing is covered. 
Yep, I think that's good. Okay. And then just give it a nice firm press all the way around, especially on the edges and the corners. And there you have it. Is that not so cute? Okay. Now, I'm just gonna glance here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead with my scissors. And yeah, I can sand that off, which I normally do, but right now, I'm just going to trim along the edge with my scissors since it's a straight edge. There we go. That's the only edge that was really over. Okay, again, make sure that it's nice and pushed down and then that will dry, okay? Then um, this color right here is Cherry Cobbler. And so I cut out myself a rectangle using the switch stitched so sweetly dies, okay? And we will layer that on there. And then I cut out with my scissors one of these cute little dogs because with it covered with the Christmas lights, I kind of can't resist it. I think it's so adorable. And we will layer that up like that, okay? So I'm going to pull in my dimensionals here. And we will get this all attached. So be sure to say hi and tell me where you're watching from. I really, really appreciate you being here today. And um, spread the love with your friends if they love doing things like this, like home decor, things for your house. Okay, this is super cute. So I'm putting some dimensionals on my dog. And then, normally I don't put a million, but because of this delicate little tail, I am going to <laughs> snip these tiny little shreds of dimensionals. Let's see. They're so tiny, but I feel like if I don't do that, that those little things are gonna peel off. You know, these this little string here. So I would rather be safe than sorry. Whoops. I have dimensionals sticking to me everywhere. Okay. All right, let's see how this looks, whoops. So we take off the backs of my little tiny pieces here. Okay, you ready to see how this looks? Okay, look at what I did. See, I put dimensionals out there and it's actually hanging off, so I'm just actually gonna peel that off. I didn't realize that that hung off so far. Okay. And we will put this little guy on there. How adorable is that? Now you might not think it's adorable if you don't like dogs. I'm not a gigantic dog fan, but I do have a dog. <laughs> okay, and then the other thing we are going to do is, now I don't know, you know what, I'm gonna not do this live. I will do this later, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna add to the top because it all goes together. Okay, this is little mini beaded garland from Walmart, okay? And you see how small these beads are? And look at the colors are absolutely perfect for this. So I thought that it would be really cute to make this be our little um, hanger for the ornament. Isn't that precious? So I will bead that off camera just because it'll take a little bit. And then we'll tie that on there and then that will be so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay this here so you can see the cuteness okay and then the other thing that we are going to add is well I brought a couple things over here to just see what we liked and these are from the Dollar Tree and they look super fake and gaudy because they're so um, sparkly. Um, but I still kind of thought that it went with it. It didn't matter that they looked fake. 
um, with this particular project because <laughs> um, they look really sparkly and it makes the whole thing look so cute. Um, let's see. I'm trying to look here on my desk. I brought over some greenery, but I don't know if I want greenery with these dogs. See how you just kind of have to play with it and just see what looks cute? So this was from the Dollar Tree also, and all you have to do is just take off a little thing. And see, I don't I don't think that I like this nature look with the dog. I think that that's making it too nature-ish. Is that a word? <laughs> um, so I need to figure out what would be a cute tag with this. So if you have a cute idea, give it to me. And I can do that and then add a little tag because it needs some sort of tag, right? That says Merry Christmas or something. Okay, and now I'm finding on my desk the other thing that I had for the other one. So let's go back. Let's go back to this. Okay, look at what I found at the Dollar Tree. I found these ornaments. I've never seen anything like this at the Dollar Tree before. And um, this totally goes. So that is what I had brought over here to use. I still don't know what I did with my die cut snowflakes, but we will get there. Okay, so this obviously is super ugly. <laughs> so I'm going to take this off and retie this, um, but I wanted to show you that that is what we'll use on there. Okay, so fun. And I like using little, you know, like this is a thick, like just the thick cardboard type thing, just because it gives more to it than, than just paper. And so that's what we'll do on here, all right? And I like that it had a snowflake that kind of went with the whole thing. Okay, so trust me, I realize that these are not finished and I'm leaving you hanging with unfinished business, but I will finish it and I will post pictures, but I just wanted to give you some cute ideas of embossing, heat embossing on wood as well as using our cute designer series paper for this one that had the flat um, top to the sled and how you can dress that up. So I hope that gives you some fun ideas to go with and I will bring you back up. So hopefully I can see your comments a little bit better. Okay, thank you for hanging with me even though I feel so just, ah. <laughs> Hey Kim, I'm so glad you like them. I, I think they're fun and I am going for like some bigger ornaments. I know that that's kind of what you're supposed to do in the decorating world and I've just never done it. And so that's what I'm trying to do this year. Okay, so hang with me as we pull things together. So let me pull this up here one more time. And when I do it this way, I know it's backwards because I haven't flipped it, but there we go. So you can kind of see the how big they are. Oh, hey, Carol, I'm so glad you like it. Okay, so I will finish these, I promise. And you know what? I haven't even finished what we did last week because I think that I finished those like an hour before convention was supposed to start. And um, and then we've been doing convention solid the last couple of days. It was a lot of fun. And um, we have a lot of neat stuff coming out, of course, as always. Now, the other thing that I wanted to tell you that's very important is that starting tomorrow, we are, we Stampin' Up! is having a big, um, what would you call it? Kind of like a basic sale. And we are uh, having our ink pads, cardstock, and <laughs> what's the third thing? Oh, dies, our dies in the annual catalog. They will be on sale. So I don't want to say something wrong. I think the dies are 20% off. I think the ink pads are 10% off. And the cardstock is 15% off. I think that's how it works. So I will post a link for that. So that's tomorrow. It's an excellent time to stock up on your cardstocks. And, um, and I plan on placing an order for sure. So anyway... If you would like to tell your friends about um, my page, I would really appreciate it. That's how our business grows on, on Facebook land. And I appreciate you being here today. 
and I will see you later on this week, okay? Hopefully a little bit more organized. <laughs> All right, thanks for being here, and don't forget that you were made to create. See ya, bye.